It's a good idea to back up your registry in Windows 10 because sometimes just before you install a big application or run a big Windows update or make any other changes, then if you have a corruption in your registry, then it's a good idea to have a backup of it. So from your search box, and you can get to it either from your taskbar or just right click on your start button and choose search, either one, type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T, reg edit for a registry editor. Sometimes you'll have to give administrator approval and type a username and password depending on what your rights are. So here are the five major keys of the registry. And most of the time when we go to make any changes, we typically do it to either the local machine or the current user, but mostly it's the local machine. Now, for those of you looking to get into IT, just to let you know that during one of the many different interviews I did over the years uh, prior to starting my company, uh, I was asked, what are the five keys of the registry? And here they are. So I think I only could remember three of them. This is, uh, goes back about 20 something years. Uh, so just uh, keep in mind, these are one of the things that you might get asked. So how do we back up the registry? Well, to, in order to get all five keys and all the sub keys and all the uh, settings underneath that, you need to click on computer at the top and then click on file and then export. And it's going to ask you, where do you want to export it? So I'll just go ahead and export it to my desktop just to make it easy. And I'll put in reg backup as the name, but you can call it anything you'd like. And take a look, it shows that it's the dot reg. And if since this is at the top level and it's backing up all these keys, this does tend to take a few minutes before it's done. And there's our registry backup. I'm going to right click on it and choose properties just to show you how big it can get. And we see it's almost 500 megabytes. So it's pretty large, uh, even though this particular computer isn't that old. It's actually a virtual machine, and it wasn't created that long ago. So you might find that some of yours are uh, much larger than 500 megabytes. It might be uh, gigabytes as well. All right, so that's done. What's interesting is, is that this is really just a text file. Now, I can't try to right-click and choose Edit because it will take forever to open it. But I, what I can do is I can export another subkey in there just to show you that it is just a text file. So I'll just right-click and choose Export. And I'll just type in Subkey. Save. And there's my sub key. All right, so I right click and I choose edit. And see, it's just a text file, that's all it is. Uh, so it can get rather large, but uh, you can also back this thing up to a USB drive. And then you can follow some of the videos that I have under my Windows 10 playlist if you ever get stuck and your registry is corrupt. And I show you how to restore that registry uh, in order to get you back up and running again. So that's how you back up your registry in Windows 10.